There's Alexis, my beautiful model. There's a mosquito, <laughs> and there's my assistant Paige. <laughs> at Tuesday morning staff meeting at Grace Bible Church. This is the core group of people here who make the magic happen. This is Pastor Lance. He enjoys going on walks to keep his heart healthy so that he doesn't die. <laughs> this is Pastor Eddie, our founding pastor. He's really into health and fitness and stuff like that, but I think that's just a front to hide the secret fact that he's immortal. <laughs> this is Leilani. If you could take sweetness and kindness Aww. and generosity and bottle it all up into one human being, you would have Andrea. <laughs> but Leilani would be a close second. This is Shalice. She likes Pop-Tarts and Marvel movies. And she's single. <laughs> this is Andrea. I can sum up Andrea with one gesture. Oh no. <laughs> this is Pastor Zach. The other pastors don't want to admit it, but he's known as the cool one. <laughs> or as Toby would say, the funny one. Pastor John, he is wholeheartedly committed to this church and this congregation and this staff, and that's awesome. The only thing he loves more than us would be his sister, Sharina. <laughs> that's Sharina. She lives in Michigan, which is the only state in the country more boring than Vermont. <laughs> <laughs> And Lexi, who I really don't know much about. <laughs> Tuesday morning staff meetings have always been, for me, a great way to stay rooted to what's important. That being my faith, Jesus, ministry. I mean, I work hard at my job to provide for my family, but church and God, that's the most important thing. And I feel like without this staff meeting, without being a part of this team, uh, I, I could very easily get lost in my work, and I wouldn't make the time for God that I do. Working here keeps me grounded, keeps me rooted, keeps me plugged into a, a great team of people who are all role models to me in one way or another. I think I told you yesterday that I'm not very creative when it comes to breakfast, cereal, oatmeal. Occasionally I'll scramble some eggs or just have a banana or something. I'm even less creative when it comes to lunch. Hello, UPS. I hear that just about every day these days. Oh yes, I remember this, talking to this client. Uh, endless insulated stainless steel slim can cooler. These people messaged me and said they have a whole line of these things on Amazon for all kinds of different mugs and uh, soda cans, things like that, and they, they would like me to shoot their whole line, which would be awesome. Um, but as is typical with, with those kinds of uh, clients is they'll send me one or two products to start with i'll make them an ad for it and if they like it they'll send me the rest of their stuff and we'll we'll film a whole bunch of stuff so this could potentially be a really big client <laughs> There's Alexis, my beautiful model. There's a mosquito, and there's my assistant Paige. <laughs> We're shooting some products today, some beautiful jackets, yeah. We're here in the gorgeous Eyal Valley, which is um, not too, too populated right now, a lot of space, nice place to come and shoot, so we're having fun today. I just finished the photo session with Alexis. Alexis has been a good friend of our families ever since we moved here. We met her when she was 13 and she became our go-to babysitter, and now she's getting ready to head off to college just as she's become my go-to model <laughs> for products. This is my new favorite toy. I've, I've wanted a gimbal from my DSLR for years, and now that I'm doing a lot of video work, I can finally justify the expense of buying one. Let's take a look and see how smooth it is, because today, today was the real test. Okay, let's see. I did a tracking shot here with Alexis as she was jogging along. Let's see how steady it kept the camera. 
I mean, other than me trying to stay centered <laughs> and running into a truck, <laughs> I didn't actually run into the truck. I almost ran into the truck. That looked pretty good. Makabao Forest is the only place on Maui that sort of feels like where we grew up, Vermont and New Hampshire, because they have lots of fir trees and leafy trees, no palm trees up here. It's a lot cooler up here, kind of feels like spring or fall right about now. <laughs> 